pageant of the master and the festival of the arts is in full swing and i want to welcome from that festival uh Sharbi Huguchi, thank Hi. you for joining us. Thanks you for, can swivel that chair any way you want. You can do All this, right. you I can, can do, do this. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever you'd like to sit. <laughs> well, welcome back. And you know, we talked to you last year, lots of years about this pageant. And as always, it's it's a great one. You guys have a great theme this year. Tell yeah, us about that for the pageant. Yeah, we do. It's called Alamo, the Art of Fashion. There you and go. And it is a really great show this year. And really, we're um, telling a story about fashion throughout time through the magic of living pictures or tableau vivants. Well, and, and for many, fashion is art. Yeah, right. There's absolutely. an art and there's a craftsmanship to fashion. And so sure. it shows up in the great works and paintings and sculptures over, and the, over the millennials. Over the <laughs> history of time, we take you through the royal courts of fashion and kings and queens all the way down to the catwalk. And uh, we have some really stunning pieces and unexpected pieces in the show this year. Um, one of my favorite that comes out is we actually recreate an Alexander McQueen shoe. It's called the angel shoe. Oh, really? And on the back of the hill, there's a person, of course, with Tableau mm. Vivants or living pictures. Every picture we show has to have a person in okay. it because that's what we do, right? We recreate famous works of art with real people posing to look like these um, p p famous pictures and everything, as well as sculptures. And this year, you're going to see brooches in the show. It's really diverse, and it's a lot of fun. And our director, Diane Chalice Davey, has a lot of surprises in store for the audience. I don't want to give too much don't away. Don't give too much I away. I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> but um, for folks, we get new folks in the community all the time. I just kind of always take for granted that I've been here for so long, I know all about it. But for folks who've never been to the pageant of the Masters, tell us a little bit of the origin story and, and what people should expect. What people should expect, well, first of all, it's an incredible theatrical performance. So what you're going to do, you're going to go buy your ticket, first off. <laughs> and uh, when you go into, we have a beautiful amphitheater, and it seats roughly about 2,600 um, people. And you're under the stars, and then you're in for watching these beautiful tableau vivants or living pictures presented on stage. But it's not just showing these pictures. We're telling you a story about right. each of these pieces. It's there's accompanied. amazing narration. There's yeah, an orchestra. There's narration, there's orchestra, there's music, and I have to tell you, this year the music is just off the charts, mm -hmm. like really. And all the pieces, a lot of people don't realize this is specifically composed for our living picture show. Mm -hmm. And so everything is live and it's under the stars and it's just really magical. And um, and the real magic is of course watching the living pictures on stage and seeing that the three-dimensional person looking like a two-dimensional painting. Mm -hmm. So, and all those people actually on the stage, they're all volunteers, believe it or not. No, yeah, you know what? My my wife, before we were married, when she was in high school, she volunteered one summer. Did she and really? It was just every my night. My kids have been in the show as well. <laughs> I've done it a couple times myself, too, and it's absolutely amazing. It takes roughly about 500 volunteers to put on right. our show. Our youngest volunteer, five years old, and our elders, well, 80 plus, they don't mm -hmm. want to help me, but we have some people that are in the show for the very first time, mm -hmm. others that have been for, gosh, 40 plus years. Repeat offenders, so to speak. Yeah, repeat offenders. <laughs> you know what, it's magical back there when your volunteers come. Mm -hmm. um, it's almost one big family reunion. People are so happy to be there, and you make new friends. We've even had people meet and get married um, wow. by, they were in a picture together. Well, if you're volunteering and you're doing that, you're spending a lot of your summer down there doing that, you have to love it. Obviously, you Absolutely. love it. Absolutely. And our volunteers come from all over, not mm -hmm. just Laguna Beach, as far mm -hmm. as north as Los Angeles. We have people coming in from Temecula, even, just to be a part of our show um, and in support of the arts, because the pageant, the festival is a nonprofit art organization. Mm -hmm. and, um, and everything we do is in support of art education. In fact, we give out scholarships and grants throughout the year. Speaking of art and local artists, People should get down there long before the show's about to start because of the art show and the Festival of the Arts that's going on as well in conjunction with the Pageant of the Masters, that's right? That's right. Yeah, the Festival of Arts, we have 120 artists, and they are really the stars. They're super talented. There's every medium that you can possibly imagine, from jewelry to ceramics to painting to woodwork, you name it, it's mm -hmm. there. So there's something for everyone's taste, from the very traditional to the very contemporary type style art. Um, and to be selected to be in the Festival of Arts is really a real honor. Right. It is a juried find art show. So honestly, it is the best of the best of Orange County mm -hmm. artists. I love just walking around talking to the artists. We also have art tours that people can go on and 
meet the artists and talk yeah. find out about and their people medium. come from all around the world to see this and they meet these local artists which they is a, a, a great boon for them they, in terms of getting their work out there to the world it's not getting out there to the world and everything is available for sale it's for mm -hmm. purchase right. um, and the nice thing is artists you, have to make money what arts, I know <laughs> gotta make and particularly those artists you know to be an artist and to have a career as an artist can be really challenging and the really nice thing is you're buying direct from the artist when you're at the festival of arts the festival does not take any percentage of the artist sells that's part of our mission is to support these local artists um, so and if we do because we maybe they're not available they can purchase something through our fine art sales booth we will reinvest that money into purchasing art from our artists because we have a permanent art collection as well well, it's, it's an amazing show. Uh, definitely get down there. I love walking through and meeting the artists. They're, they're there. Yeah, they're sitting there just waiting there, to say hello. Sitting, go on a and tour. It's, it's terrific. There's classes. So you can also yes. try your hand yes, at classes. No, Have you done that before? I've, I, I've never done that. It's just <laughs> such a, it's such a kindergartner thing on the refrigerator for me. It's oh, just, <laughs> no. Okay, I'll tell you what. you got to go on Thursday or Friday nights. We have uh, Prince and Pinos on Thursday nights <laughs> and wine and uh, paint class on uh, Friday nights. And that's in the evening at eight o'clock. I highly suggest that it's really a magical time to be out there and um, learning how to do some art. It's a great classes. We have also other classases every single day. And, um, and entertainment, lots oh, of Oh yeah, music. lots of musicians are down there. And yeah, people just you know just come down for the music sometime. I always yeah. say come for the art, stay for the music. It's <laughs> a lot of fun. Um, really some um, award-winning musicians that play. Um, this year our uh, music series being host, uh, being sponsored by uh, City of Hope, Orange County, as well as Yamaha. And we okay. have a blue piano on our stage. And that's just really to represent the healing power of music, as well as all those who have been touched by cancer so it's really a magical moment to be down there um, listen to the performance walk around see the art have a glass of wine eat, eat at a restaurant maybe yeah, and then go, go see the show what a perfect night a little bit of everything a little bit of everything uh, what does it take I mean it's a giant undertaking to start building these sets and the pieces and all of that kind of stuff when does the work actually begin on the construction and, and the, the choosing the pictures and all of those kind if of you things? can believe it or not we're working on it right now so our for pageant next year? for next year <laughs> Here we are. So our pageant um, director, Diane Chalasavi, she is selecting the theme and for next year, and then she'll start thinking about what pieces she wants to put into the show. We have a research volunteer team that will help her get ideas, what pieces might go along with that theme. And by November, she has figured out pretty much what pieces are going to be in the show. As I said earlier, we are nonprofit. That's Those pieces are presented to our board of directors mm -hmm. as well as our um, members in November. And then we have to get rights and permission. And beginning January, we have our casting call. And then we go and full-on design, makeup design, costume, set design, and our first rehearsals begin in February. That's so, incredible. Honestly, it's a full year-round gig. A full year-round <laughs> gig. Yeah, and then the same is true with the Festival of Arts. So mm -hmm. we'll start um, with their, you know, our jurying process in October, and wow. it's a two-tier jurying process. So first they submit their images digitally, and then they, we have a physical jurying process as well. And then we'll know fully who, what artists are in the show usually around January. Oh my God, Sherry Sharby, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, Festival of the Art Pageant the Master, search for that on the web if you want tickets. Or if you're feeling daring, www.foapom, Festival of the Arts Pageant the Master.com. You got and it. And here's tickets. a tip your Pageant the Master's ticket is also a season pass to the Fine Art Show. Yes, that's right. So you can keep coming back keep and again and back. again to see the show. So that's the best part, too. Sharby Huguchi, thank you so much for Pageant the Masters. Thank you. We Thanks for having it. me here today. Absolutely. When we come back, we'll be talking about the farmer's market right here, right across the street. Stay with us.